Well, new at five, an electrical fire in Jacksonville destroyed the home of a local military family on Wednesday night. Jessica Gary managed to save her children and dogs, but the home was a loss. Not on your sides, Claire Millay spoke to her about how she and her family will recover. The wife and children of a local active duty Marine are left without a home after a fire in Midway Park. Homeowner and mother Jessica Gary was able to get herself and her three children safely out of the house, but she did sustain some injuries when she returned to save her dogs. But the fact that my kids acted so quickly, like my daughter is legally blind and when I told everyone fire out the door she did not hesitate to pick her baby sister up and run out that door as fast as she could. Jessica Gary says she has always been very cautious about fire safety in her home and she believes that's why her family is alive today. You have to make sure that you have no clutter Mm -hmm. window access, you know, tell your kids when I tell you it's serious, it's serious and you have to move. You don't question the situation, you know, and uh, my kids were just as brave as I, I was. Piney Green Volunteer Fire Department responded to the fire around 11 p.m. Fire Chief Tim Bruns says the fire was caused by an electrical malfunction. As far as the fire being prevented, um, it was a failure of equipment, um, so I don't know how much that could have been prevented or not. Gary says her husband was devastated to hear the news. And just because he wasn't here to save us, he gives me every motivation to do so. I'm even stronger when he's not here because I know I have to be. When I asked what types of things she needs right now, Gary said anything that you use day to day. Simple household items would be a huge help. Gary's husband is currently away at a military exercise, but she says she was able to contact his command and he will be able to come home. If you would like to help her and her family, you can find a link to her GoFundMe page at WNCT.com. In Midway Park, Claire Molay, 9 on your side. Again, just as Claire said, there is an active GoFundMe page to help this family get back on their feet. As of right now, they only have $310 of their $10,000 goal. The link to donate is on our website, WNCT.com.